All right, in this episode, we are continuing the toolbar, and I'm going to be going through the slip and the slide tool. And these ones kind of go along with ripple and roll. They're almost a little bit kind of opposite to the ripple and roll. What these do are a little bit different. Uh, to kind of refresh what the ripple and roll do, the ripple tool, you choose the ripple tool, which is B on the shortcut. It will trim the in and out point of a single clip without affecting the adjacent clip. And then when you, if you lose some footage on this, it's going to fill the gap. So it will ripple, do what's called a ripple edit, and either extend all the rest of the footage, or, or push it all out, or it will shrink it. Or, or it'll fill the gap, basically. And that's your ripple tool. Your roll tool, and that's used primarily as a matching tool. Your roll tool will perform an in point and out point adjustment between two clips as it's shrinking one, as it's trimming one. Out clip of one clip is going to affect the adjacent clip and compensate by either expanding, tr uh, trimming outwards, or trimming inwards to compensate. So the roll tool will affect both in points and out point, or the in point and out point of the two clips butting up against each other. The slip tool, which is Y on the shortcut to select it, will affect the in and out points of a single clip simultaneously. It affects the in point and out clip and out point. It changes them at the same time as I click and drag. Let me show you really quick. As we get to the beginning of this clip right here, right when he whips his code out like that, say I want him to whip his code out. I want this clip to last the same amount of time take up the same amount of duration in the timeline, but I don't like where he does that coat whip. I want him to coat whip and then stand there for a second as he reaches down and grabs his gun there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my slip tool over this clip here. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to start dragging left or right. Notice the windows that it brings up here in the can in the in the program monitor. It brings up the top little teeny left hand frame up there is the adjacent clip to the left and that shows the out point, and that will not change on your slip tool. It's not changing, it's just displaying it. And then to the right, it shows the in point of the adjacent clip to the right. Now as I move this clip left and right here, it's changing the in and out point simultaneously. So it's keeping the duration the same, and I'm gonna move it to the left till he lifts up his hands, and you can see the in point on the big left frame up there, and the out point on the big right frame up at the top there. And you'll see that those are changing simultaneously. So it's changing, the, it's changing the in and out point at the same time on this clip. And that's basically what it does. So this is kind of a little bit of a retiming tool. It's not used as common. Probably the most common are going to be the ripple and roll. And the slip and slide are used not as frequently, but they're, they're used once in a while. You'll find some, some instances where this will come in handy. So this will change the in and out points simultaneously. And like I said, it's not used as, as frequently, but it, you'll find some specific purposes where you, it'll, it'll come in handy. The slide tool, shortcut is U, is kind of the opposite of the slip tool. Once I grab this clip right here, what it's going to do is it's going to leave the in and out points of this clip alone. And if I drag it left or right, it'll move it up the timeline or down the timeline here, and it will change the adjacent out point and in point of these two clips on the side without affecting this clip at all. So this is kind of a little bit of uh, a timing uh, tool as well. And there's very few instances where you'll have to do this, but it will come in handy if you need to just slide it to the right a little bit here. I'm going to sl slide it to the right, to the left here and change the timing there. So as we play through, it cuts away from this one sooner. It stays on him a little bit uh, for the same duration. And then it cuts to the out point on that clip right there. And as I grab this, You'll notice the frames up there. Notice it shows in the big left frame there, it shows the out point of the adjacent clip to the left. And uh, you'll see that changing, and you'll see the in point of the clip to the right changing its in point there. But you'll notice the in and out point up top belongs to this clip that I'm moving. Those stay locked. So the in and out point's not changing on this slip and on, on the sliding here, but it is changing on the adjacent clips. So once again, to refresh, the slip tool will change the in and out points of a single clip at the same time without affecting the adjacent clips. And the slide tool will move a clip without affecting its in and out point, keeping its in and out point the same while sliding it up and down the timeline. And at the same time, affecting creating a new out point here and a new in point here. So it is basically like doing this, like grabbing your trim tool and shortening this, grabbing this clip, moving it over like that, grabbing this clip, and dragging it right there. That is basically what the slide tool does. And kind of the manual version of the slip tool would be like doing this. I'm going to kind of pull these away for a second. I'm going to extend this. And this this would be a little bit more complex. I'm going to get my playhead right here. I'm going to extend this clip by 10 frames. And, to, and then I'm going to have to shrink this one by 10 frames. And grab it, move it right there. And then pull these 
clips out. So a little bit confusing, but that's kind of what that manually does in one move. Next episode, we'll be covering the pen tool, the hand, and the zoom tool.